So what is it that brings you out here today? Uh, Donald J. Trump. <laughs> and what is it that you like about him? He's f***ing great. He's, uh, he, well, if nothing else, it's a great show. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's like going, like going to a Grateful Dead show, right? What would, what would you know? What would you know? He's like, Jerry, he's like the Jerry Garcia of politics. A lot of people on the other side think that this is like a cult. That this is like, that this isn't about politics. It's about a cult of personality. Tell me about that. Uh, uh, I think it's way too big. Cult, to me, signifies something a little bit smaller. There's nothing small about this, okay? You know, and, there, and, and there's like, it's almost like, it is, you know, a bit like the Grateful Dead. You get to, there's a lot of people of all types, all kinds, uh, from young and old. You get babies, you know, you get babies at the dead, right? It's everything here. So to say it's a call to me, and you get all the ethnicities too, pretty much. I mean, you know, they have a pretty good array of people. I don't see how it is. But I will vote for who Mr. Trump says to vote for. Well, Mr. Trump, take it. Up, down. For even for dog catcher. But that's what I'm saying. That goes to the cult thing that the other people... Not really, because it, it, it infers to be a smallness, and this is way, way bigger than that. We are a cult, but in a good way. Explain that. We're all America first. I mean, it's really pretty simple. Nobody even has to overthink it or overanalyze it. If you love America, and you love God, you love country, and you love your guns, then you're a Trump supporter. What if, though, and then you're in the cult, right? But what yeah. if, let's say, you love America, and you love God, you don't love guns, and you're okay with foreign policy that is a, a little broader than the one that he espouses. Is there room for you here? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to each his own, right? I mean... Right, but that's the difference in a cult. Like, if you're in a cult, it's to each the head of yeah, the cult. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, we're so not a cult. Not like the left is. To me, to me that's the cult, because it's my way or the highway. And... With the Trump supporters and even just conservatives in general, Trump's not first. No, none of us list for Trump first. We list God, country, family, Christianity, guns, <laughs> you know, everything that makes us free. The people that think it's a cult. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, because I think the vice versa of, of the way that they think and stuff like that. So... I don't know. Yeah, no. If you think that, then you must not have an open mind then. That's all I got to say then. Well, everyone who says that are usually the ones that are against capitalism. They want a change. They want socialism. They've said it. There's videos of AOC saying it. She wants socialism. So it's, it's not even hidden anymore. It's out in the open. Um, and they want to try any way they can to smear anything that any patriots will go against their agenda. Uh, it's not a cult, it's just that, that Trump, it seems like he's one of us. He talks like us, he thinks, and uh, w when he talks to the American people, he's talking like, like, you know, he's saying things that we, that's what we want to hear. And that's what, uh, and he, when he was president, he did great for those four years. There was peaceful, there, everything he did. Uh, right now, you know, look the inflation that we have, the, the gas, everything is up. That's, uh, we don't want that. The American people doesn't want that. Do you blame Biden for the gas prices? Oh, of course. But if he's just a puppet. He doesn't do anything. He's a <laughs> Yeah, we're blaming his, the, the, the face. But there's a lot of people running the country behind him. Okay, so he's not really the president. People are. Yeah, that's what I think. And um, so hopefully in 2014 we're gonna have Trump back. I don't see it that way. I see it as just um, you know Americans who actually love their country, and they found a leader in Donald Trump, a man that actually is not part of the deep state. He's not a politician. You know he he has. He's not coming in to, you know, like most politicians, try to make a buck here and there. He wanted to come in. He, said, he, he, he was actually on record since the 80s. He even said, if I ever run for office one day, it's because our country is actually in a crisis. And I want to do the best I can to keep it away, away from that. What a significant change from 2016 to 2020, how well the country was doing. The country was doing excellent. And then in less, in less than two, well, two years already, look at where we're at right now. I disagree about the whole cult thing. I mean, all these people you see here, they just, they love their freedom. 
they love everything that Trump did in the last four years when he was president. And that's just what they want. Everybody wants their freedom. Everybody wants their lives. You know, a lot of jobs were taken away with COVID hit and all that. And, you know, I feel like Trump, as a businessman that he is, he just wanted to keep everybody working, keep everybody happy and bringing everything back to what it was. Trump once said that if he shot someone on Fifth Avenue, that the people would still love him, uh, which is sort of one of the, the why people think this is like a cult. What, what do you think? I mean, if anybody shot anybody on Fifth Avenue, I would not be a supporter, but I don't think he's done that, and I don't think he will. <laughs> oh, Trump, man. Trump Trump did such a, a spectacular thing for the country. It's like, it, it's we're his country, man. This is it. So I'll be honest. This is my first uh, rally that I'm attending. Not just like a, I obviously support him from the beginning i just believe that like look at the differences like when he's throwing a rally the amount of people that actually show up versus like the other candidates from the left you know what i mean so like i don't believe it's that narrative in per se but like it's more so like hey he has established his fan base besides that not only because of who he is as a person but for what he stands up for and you know for the things that he fight for us as american citizens what what would you say to people who call this a bit like a cult of Donald Trump. No, it's not at all. It's about this thing. It's about the flag. It's about the unity taking the country back. It's actually my first rally. And he was here in Miami once before. And this time I had time to come. And I just want the country turned around. That's all.